about fruit. Yes, yes, we're all, we all have fruit now. But what made you choose, or actually, what made ABC choose to do Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde again? Ah, uh, well, um, I just guess I figured one more time uh, into lurch, but not really because I think it's because it's so re relevant for today. In what sense? Well, with genetic engineering and all of that, that, that line between morality and science, God and science, so we're just going to manufacture people, what are we doing? Yeah. I think that question is uh, important in drugs mm -hmm. and what they do to you. So the concept's been updated in a sense? Um, well, kind of. I, 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 my character is certainly new. Um, there was no love interest in the original. As a matter of fact, a lot of people don't know this. The original um, Stevenson project was a novella. And he was starving, and he wrote it in three days to make some money. He needed the money. And I bet if he figured all these people were going to make it into movies, he would have taken maybe a little more time with it and created more characters, because everybody takes a lot of dramatic license with it. Yeah, absolutely. What, what's Michael Caine like to work with? Well, he's just the best. He's one of the funniest people I've ever met. He works enough. You know, that he, you know how people, you, you say, well, why is he so funny? And uh, he doesn't tell jokes. He doesn't do that sort of thing. He's just one of these people that whatever he does, it's funny. I mean, it's very yeah. hard to describe. He's just a natural. A natural, innately funny person. Robin Williams is like that. He just does funny stuff you and die. don't even try. You, know? you die, you fall down. Yeah. I'm in this bustle. I'm wetting myself in this bustle. This is not attractive. <laughs> <laughs> bustles. You like wearing bustles? Because th that's something that women today don't have to wear. That is true. Um, <laughs> Was it uncomfortable? Oh, boy. It was so <laughs> uncomfortable, you have no idea. I felt like a quail, you know, with this huge behind and all strapped in. And uh, it's just so, uh, so terrible. It's so uncomfortable. And I would work, you know, 15 hours in this get up and have back pains and everything. And I'd take it all off and go jog in Hyde Park thinking, for me again. It was yeah. just, you know, we've come a long way, baby. Where'd you do the film? In London. In London. And where are you from? South Dakota. South Dakota? Mm hmm Big town there? Huge. Fourth. <laughs> <laughs> it's the fourth largest city, and it has 12,000 people. There's 12,000 people here. That's right. <laughs> it's, it's a, it was a great place to grow up here on South Dakota, but not a lot of opportunity to get in show business. Well, you, you came from Cleveland. That was like a big... Yes, I brought her with me. <laughs> But that's like a big city that you had opportunities there. I mean, four people would walk in my living room, I'd be doing a number. I'd dance and sing and, and you know, any opportunity, um, you know, the Elks Club, the Lions Club, the PTA, anything. Oh, to wow. just get somebody to pay attention. Yeah, it, that must be a tough place if you want to be in show business. It's, it's really tough. Well, somebody told me about, about being a car hop. What is a car hop? I don't... You don't know what a car hop is? No, I'm sorry. He has left a very sheltered. Yes. Do you know what? I don't know what a car hop is. Three people know what a car hop is. <laughs> yes. These are all big city folks. A car hop is somebody that you drive up to the drive-in and they come out to your car mm -hmm. and take your order. And then they bring it out to you on a little tray. And, and I learned a lot of things as a car hop, most of which have nothing to do with being a car hop. <laughs> <laughs> you know that? You know when you're, you're working somewhere and they're... Well, you know, there are not very many people in my hometown, and not very many people go, uh, very many of them go out to eat. So we had a lot of stand around time. So you yes. make up jokes and you make up stories. And you were a magician, right? Absolutely, in Cleveland. So I should have called you because we made up tricks all the time. Yeah. What was your favorite trick that you made up while being a car? Would you have a spoon? Well, they put this out here. I thought we were going to eat cereal again like I did with Huey. <laughs> uh, no, no. But I didn't see no bowls. Oh, no, that's right. I was a Girl Scout. I brought my own. Oh. <laughs> First you have to dry it off. You spoon on me. Oh, I, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> uh, totally caught me off guard there. Uh, okay. Now what we're gonna try to do is levitate this spoon. Mm -hmm. But you you're allowed to touch it. The spoon on me. Okay. <laughs> okay, you're just gonna put your finger in it. Not too good. Let me try it one more time. And, and you can applaud if I get it up. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> now we're both blushing. Okay.
probably just make a fool of myself. I, I, I won't even do Well, why it. should you be any different than me? Oh. <laughs> did you, you which put, finger did you? This, no, this finger. There. Okay. And then put your thumb on the bottom and just sort of... I feel stupid, and that's what makes me laugh. Um, <laughs> Happy Days. A lot of people... How many knew or have ever seen a Happy Days episode with this face? Yeah. Was that fun? That was so fun. Cindy Shea. I played this movie star, Cindy Shea. Yeah. But the problem was I was three months pregnant. Oh, really? Yeah, so I got and I'd do a scene, and then i go, Excuse me? And I'd run around the thing and get sick. And yeah. They'd clean me up, and then I'd run around and... I didn't know I was pregnant. I was just throwing up a lot. Then I found out I was pregnant afterwards. Oh. oh. Sandy, do you have any, any of the happy day stuff that we get from Oh, before? God. Oh, I'd love to no. see a piece. She's just nervous. Never mind. I'll get the door. There's nothing to be nervous about. She's just like us, a regular person. Hi. I'm Cindy Shea. Thank you. Um, 